I made $10,000 just from going viral on TikTok. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Brandy Janelle. I am all things motherhood, lifestyle, and work life. So if you're new, it is so nice to meet you. If you're someone that stumbled across this video, it's probably because you make short form content, but it's not getting the attention that it should, or at least that you think it should, right? I'm here to give you six answers as to why your short form content videos are not taking off. So before we get into this video, if you like this type of content, make sure you give me a thumbs up so that I know no. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have been making content for years. Even before YouTube was monetized, I couldn't crack the YouTube code. And I'm still growing on YouTube, but what really helped me grow my following on TikTok and Instagram. Well, first, let's talk about TikTok. TikTok, you all know what that is. It's a short form content. I started posting on there, but I wasn't posting anything like I was posting random things. I had no niche. It was just posting random life stuff. I don't know. Probably dancing, doing the trendy dances, whatever. But I started posting on there and then eventually I was just like, I need to really get serious with being a content creator because I've always wanted to be an influencer or I just wanted to create content and show other people how to do different things. So once I got serious about that, I was like, what can I post? Should I do vlogs? What should I do? So one day I, something just told me to do like a showing up for myself series. I really got tired of being lazy and I really got tired of not seeing my full potential because of my laziness. I knew that it was time for me to reach my highest self and stop doing the bare minimum because I deserve more than that. And the only person that I had to blame was myself. I was too comfortable or cozy, like I like to say, and I would always make excuses. Excuses that made no sense. It's like, Brandy, get it done. You are in charge of your happiness. I don't know if it's like a new year motivation, but I feel so motivated and inspired to reach my highest self and to show my full potential. Like, I don't know what it is, but I'm definitely gonna start showing up for myself. I noticed that a lot of my time was being spent on planning or finding inspo and now I'm just above that. I just really feel like I need to just start doing instead of sitting back and planning and waiting for something to happen. I realized that I had been playing myself. From here on out, I'm showing out for myself. Like I don't care if it makes anyone else uncomfortable, but I noticed that I always make myself small to make people feel comfortable. But if you are uncomfortable, then that has nothing to do with me. I'm no longer making myself small. I'm applying that pressure that's necessary that I've always needed to. I'm just really excited and I'm super duper confident in myself because I know what I have inside of me. And I'm just really ready to conquer 2022 and beyond. I'm putting all my faith in God and I'm just going to move forward. I'm going to move like I have no fear because I don't. And I'm going to move like I have no doubt because I don't. I'm very confident. I was in a depressed state. I just had a baby. I was going through postpartum depression. So I was like, I need to get my life together. I needed to lose weight. I needed to be healthier. I just needed to adapt all these habits to make my lifestyle easier and better. So I made a video. It was like a vlog. And I was basically calling myself out, telling myself I needed to, you know, go to the gym, be more consistent and disciplined and all that other stuff. And so many people people gravitated towards that video to where I was like I wonder if I could do it again so I did it again and those type of videos kept hitting I kept going viral my following grew like and to this day I am at 175 thousand followers on tiktok i created digital products showing other people how to do this and that's why we're here today because i just feel like i can be a vessel to other people because i had to figure out things on my own i had to buy ebooks i had to you know watch courses i had to do a lot of things to get to where i am today and now i want to give you the blueprint the easier way i want to show you that this is doable it's attainable you can grow your following overnight essentially you can definitely do that but you have to have discipline and you have to listen okay you have to be yourself which goes into the first answer of how you can start getting your content to take off number one being your authentic self you're probably like oh well, I'm, that's easy but some people get online and they just try to portray this superficial fake lifestyle they're making it seem like they're just the riches they're just like no problems in the world and I, if, that, if that's what you want to do with your content go ahead but I find that people that are the most relatable are the ones that are growing their following and growing millions of views on their channels and on their videos because they're relatable. 
I like to watch people that are relatable to me. Like sometimes when I see people that are just like super rich and it's okay to watch that content, but that's not who I am right now. Like I am a mom trying to make it okay. Like I am trying to better myself. So when I see content where I see other moms or I see other content creators that are where I am, it motivates me. It makes me want to do more. It makes me want to be myself. So when you create your content, don't try to be someone that you're not. You're perfect the way you are. You don't have to front. You ain't got a lot of kicking, baby. You know that, right? All right, I just want you to know that. So be your authentic self. When you're creating this content, be your authentic self. Just be you. Simple. That's an easy one. It's literally the easiest step on this list. Okay, so the answer number two is that your content isn't engaging. Your content is not grabbing the attention of other people. I always say the first three seconds, and you probably heard it elsewhere, the first three seconds are very crucial to your content. We as human beings have short attention spans. So as soon as we see a video and it's not grabbing our attention within that first three seconds, guess what we're gonna do? Yep, we're gonna scroll. We're gonna scroll because the video just, eh. I can watch something else that'll grab my attention. We're so quick and that's what these fast videos have basically brainwashed us to do. So you wanna make sure that the first three seconds is grabbing the attention of people. Just think about yourself when you're scrolling on TikTok or you're scrolling on Instagram and you're watching videos, don't you scroll when something isn't interesting within the first couple seconds or are you gonna, are you gonna sit there and give every single video a chance? Right, you gotta say something, you gotta do something, you gotta show something that's gonna be enticing, right? Our third answer is that your content isn't educational. People long for education on the internet. When I tell you, I go to TikTok to look up certain things, how to do certain things, how to cook certain things. I don't go to Google anymore. I don't, I'm not going to school to learn how to do these things. I'm done with school, okay? We are on the internet to find out how to do different things. So if you're showing someone how you can be more productive in 24 hours, how to ace an interview, how to grow your following, if you're showing people how to do stuff, those videos are gonna be the ones taking off. And don't get me wrong, you don't have to have every single video be educational. We're gonna run down the list, remember that. But just remember that educational content is content that people long for, they love. Let me give you an example of how we can make an engaging educational video really quick. First three seconds. I made $10,000 just from going viral on TikTok. Boom. You know how many people are gonna stay on that video like, what? How? Then that's when you get into the, the meat of the content. But that first three seconds, it's gonna be educational. It's gonna be engaging because people love money. People wanna know, how does she do this? Or you can say something like, find out how TikTok sent me $10,000. Stuff like that is gonna have people like, what? And then you get into the meat of the content. And we'll get into that in another video of how you can keep your audience on your page. But right now, we're focusing on how we can get our video to get engagement. Start thinking about what are your strengths? What can I show other people how to do? It can be the smallest thing. You might think it's the smallest thing, but to somebody else, it might be something that could really, really help them. So don't count yourself out. Do not count yourself out that imposter syndrome. That needs to go out the window. Let's get into answer number four. Your content isn't entertaining. We love a funny video. We love entertainment. We love personality. The other type of content that I do is motherhood. I like to showcase my daughter's personality on my Instagram, my TikTok, YouTube, whatever it is, because that girl has a personality to die for. Her personality is everything. And she has gotten millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of views, okay? like. I think the most she's gotten, to my knowledge, because there's been videos circulating on Facebook that I haven't posted, like all these brands post the video, like it's a lot. But I think on TikTok, one of her videos is at 10 million views, like, but it's entertaining. Like it's, who doesn't love cute, funny babies with attitudes, right? So think of content that is entertaining. What can you do to make people stay? And it doesn't have to be funny, cute little babies. It don't have to be that, but just think of what is gonna be entertaining to other people. That's why a lot of people do all these dance videos or they do pranks. And I'm not saying do all that. You don't have to do all that, but that's just giving you an example of the type of entertaining content there is. Like you gotta think vlogs, vlogs are entertaining. A day in the life. Don't those are really taking off. So try to incorporate that entertainment into your content. You can't just sit down like, yeah y'all, so today I went to the store. You have to make sure that your content is gonna be entertaining. And remember, you have to get outside of yourself and ask, is this something I will watch? Or am I just trying to get in front of a camera to say I've recorded a video? Or just to say I uploaded a video? Cause I used to do that. I used to not care about the entertainment, the education, the authenticity. I didn't care about any of that. I was just like, I'm just doing it just to do it, just to say I did it, right? And that was not the way to go. And that's why I was so stagnant, right? 
I say write a lot. <laughs> Number five, your content isn't inspiring. These days, we need a little inspiration. Sometimes all it takes is your voice. All it takes is for you to help someone out. I also post content where I'm talking about, you know, God. I'm very, I'm very strong on faith. I'm definitely God's child. I'm not afraid to speak on it on my platforms. Those videos have gone viral. Videos where I'm telling people to get outside of themselves and post their content. Those have gone viral. When I'm just sitting there being my authentic self, I'm teaching people things, whether I throw in one or two tips, it's entertaining because I'm telling you my story, but I'm also inspiring you, I'm motivating you, I'm encouraging you to get outside of yourself and do certain things, right? It's inspiring. So if you feel like you have a voice and you feel like you can change one person, and sometimes we get beside ourselves and we're like, it ain't a million people. Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna encourage just one person. I wanna, you gotta think, like, that's how we are with likes on Instagram. And I love the analogy where people say, y'all get upset when 30 people like your post, but imagine 30 people coming up to you in one day saying you're beautiful. That's a lot. Like, you're having a fantastic day. We get so caught up in these numbers, but you gotta think. If you've inspired one person, you've done your job. And if you get so wrapped up in the numbers and the analytics, it's not gonna be authentic, which goes to number one. You're not being authentic. Authentic. That means you're doing it for show. You're doing it for compensation. You're doing it for engagement. Like, no, do it because you genuinely want to help people. Do it because you genu genuinely want to make someone's day better. Do it because you want to inspire people. Don't do it because of the numbers. You know, God knows your heart. And lastly, your content quality isn't good. I can't tell you how many times I've recorded videos and posted them in the content which is trash. Sometimes I leave them up which they wouldn't do good and sometimes I would delete them because I just was like no, let's not do this to ourselves. Let's not be anxious and let's not think about the numbers and stuff because this quality is terrible. If you want to grow an audience, you want to make sure your quality is good. And I'm not saying that everything needs to be perfect because with this whole journey, you're going to learn things and you're going to grow and you're not going to be perfect. I'm gonna tell you, your first three videos might be the worst videos you've ever done. This might be the worst video I've ever done on my channel, right? I might do better. I'm not even gonna say might, I'm gonna get better. But you have to realize with your quality, if you can, start investing in tools that'll help. If you need a new phone, start investing in a new phone with a good camera quality. If you need a camera for your YouTube channel, start investing, start researching. If you need a microphone for your audio, start investing. Do your research. You have to learn to invest in yourself and that's definitely gonna be another video for sure on my channel because I've invested in so much technical things. Like I have a whole light beaming on me right now. I have my microphone, I have my Canon camera that I'm recording on, I have my phone with my notes, I have my iPad in front of me, I have an iMac, in. I have so many things that I invested in but I know that it was a really great investment that helped me get to where I am today. And so with that, I just wanna say that I hope that these answers really help you with your content because this is what helped my content go up. Just to give you a little backstory, on Instagram, I had about 4,000, maybe closer to 5,000 followers in 2022 last year yeah last year and then when i started popping off on tiktok i utilized my following and brought them over to instagram whether that was through reels just like repurposing my content or if i was just posting like hey girlies hey y'all can y'all follow me on my instagram page so as of today remember i had closer to 5,000 instagram followers as of today i am at 28,100 followers on instagram and that's from creating content and I've used all of those steps that I just told you about in all of my content. And I'm only gonna get better because I'm always educating myself. I'm always trying to figure out ways I can make my content better. So with that, I hope that I really helped you. That's all I care about. If I helped one person, I've done my mission. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more content like this. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. We can get into conversation if you like. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.